Ist da jemand? Ah. She's gorgeous and she sings like a filthy angel. What more could any man want? Yeah, baby. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff Schitzfeld and you are a small but mighty crowd tonight. That's the way we like them here. Hey, there are some you good looking women. <laughs> Sir? Sir? I do the bodily function humor in here. Yeah. You just sit there and look. Well, you just sit there. Yeah. Okay. Wir warten einfach mal ab. Wir gucken uns das Anyway, an. hey, there are some good-looking women in the casino tonight, aren't there? I went up to this really hot lady at the bar. I said, your place or mine? She looks me up and down and says, I'll step on the mine. Thank you. Of course, the other night, I had this gorgeous woman pounding on my door for 10 minutes straight. Finally, I had to let her out. If I look a little depressed tonight, it's my mom. She's 120 or something, and I swear she does not stop farting. Every five minutes, she rips a new one, real peppery ones, eye burners, you know? So she goes to the doctor and says, Doc, she says, she says, Doc, I got this problem. I fart constantly. Horrible stinkers. Absolutely silent, but absolutely deadly, you know? She says, in fact, I just let loose a horrible one, but you won't know it till it drips over to you. So the doctor says, well, we're going to start running some tests. She says, on my gastrointestinal tract? And he says, no, on your hearing. Thank you. She used to be a parole officer, which is the perfect job for a Jewish mother. She never lets anyone finish a sentence. Seriously, it's a tough job. Every night she comes home, she wants to take a drink, but she won't. She says it interferes with her suffering. Screw you, that was funny. Uh, I swear, Jewish mothers, they're like pit bulls, you know? But there's one difference. Eventually, a pit bull lets go. And my dad, he's no prize either. One day, he goes into a church, into the confessional, and he says, Father, I've sinned. I've got six children and 15 grandchildren, and I've been married to the same woman for 62 years. But for the last three months, I've been having an affair with my doctor's 22-year-old nurse. We have amazing sex, night and day. It's fantastic. And the priest says, Excuse me, but I'm guessing from your accent that you're Jewish. And my dad says, Yeah. The priest says, So why are you telling me? And my dad says, I'm telling everybody. Thank you, thank you. You know why Jewish women love Chinese food, don't you? It's because wonton spelled backwards is not now. Yeah, but my dad... He's a crazy old man. He's got hemorrhoids, you know. So, his doctor gave him a prescription for suppositories. He goes to the drugstore and gets the prescription filled. 48 suppositories. So he pays for them and leaves. And he comes back two days later and says, I need this prescription refilled. The pharmacist says, I gave you 48 suppositories two days ago. What have you been doing with them? Eating them? And my dad says, What do you think I've been doing with them? Shoving them up my ass? Thank you. No, but seriously, my father's so Jewish, he sent me a telegram. Start worrying. Details to follow. Speaking of old men, there were two old British men sitting in their gentlemen's club, sipping brandy and talking about their adventures. One of them says, I was on safari in deepest, darkest Africa, and I was having a spot of tea when I heard some rustling right outside my tent. So I opened the flap, and this enormous African tiger leapt right out at me. Rawr! I crapped my pants. And his friend says to him, Well, one can hardly blame you. I'd crap my pants too if I had a monstrous tiger leaping at me. And the first guy says, No, not then, just now, when I went, Aah! Thank you. Speaking of which, I saw this woman changing her kid's diaper at the park the other day. And the diaper was just overflowing, poop everywhere coming out the sides, the top. I said, sorry for interfering, but shouldn't you have changed this diaper days ago? Look at all that poop. She says, well, the box says these are good for up to 15 pounds. Thank you. Chaz Recomondo on the drums tonight. Show him the love. I'm taking a break, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back.
Please give it up now for the fabulous Tracy Von Felcher. Ah, he doesn't. Sometimes we give our hearts away too easily. Das stimmt. To any Johnny come lately with a pretty face and a good story. So I'm dedicating this song to a sly little guy I like to call Equity Crowdfunding. Was was? Sweetheart, our flight of passion had a quick start, but now I've nothing but a sick heart watching your numbers rise and rise. Up late, hoping to hear your latest update. But I've run out of love to donate There aren't any tears left in my eyes I'm tracking, you're backing I hear you saying that you adore me I'm paying to stay in But will you stretch your goal? Our love has made me a bit street smart You give my motor such a kickstart I pledge my heart and all I can to you Jetzt haben wir das Lied nochmal in Gänze gehört. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up again for Tracy Von Felcher. Yeah. I'm Jeff Schitzfeld. It's an honor to be with all of you. If I seem a little depressed tonight, it's because I just broke up with my wife. Seriously. And we'd only been married a couple of months. She kept staying out late, partying, coming on to other guys. I said to her, that's it. No more partying out late with the girls. No more flirting with other guys. She says, you sound like my ex-husband. I said, I didn't know you were married before. She says, I wasn't. Thank you. Anyway, I sure miss my ex-wife. I guess I need better aim. But really, she wasn't cut out for marriage. During sex, she used to ask me to whisper dirty things in her ear. I'd whisper, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. Things would be so much easier if I was just gay. Gay guys always seem to find true love, in the end. Thank you! A gay guy fell in love with his proctologist and couldn't figure out a way to tell him he was interested. So he goes in for a consultation and the proctologist is giving him the usual exam and he says, you know, there's something skinny and hard up there. The proctologist tugs and tugs and finally, pop, he pulls out a dozen roses. He says, did you know you have a dozen roses up your butt? And the guy says, read the card, read the card. Seriously, I kid everybody. You know, 70% of gays were born that way. The rest got sucked into it. Thank you. Chaz Raccomando on the skins, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, sexuality is complicated, very mysterious. I remember when I was a little boy playing with a couple of my friends. We found a $5 bill and I said, let's go to the movies. They said, for $5, we can't all get in. It's got to be something we can all do. One of them says, let's go to the amusement park. I said, for five dollars, that's not even two rides. It's got to be something we can all do. The last guy says, I know, let's buy a box of tampons. We all look at him like, what? Why would we buy a box of tampons? He says, hey, it says right on the commercials. If you've got tampons, you can go horseback riding and play tennis and go water skiing. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's easy to kid drunk people. Speaking of which, please don't forget to tip your waitresses, if you ever find any. I think there's a walkout. So yeah, drunk people. This drunk guy walks into a bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry sir, you're drunk, I'm not serving you tonight. The drunk says, that's fine, I see you've got a dart board here. I'm just here to play a little darts. So he picks up the darts and one, two, three, makes three bullseyes in a row. He says, I got three in a row, what do I win? And the bartender looks around for something to give him. 
And under the bar, in a shoebox, he's got a turtle that he found that he was going to give his son that night. And he thinks, ah, what the hell? And he gives the turtle in the box to the drunk, who staggers out happy. A few months later, the drunk staggers in again, picks up three darts, and makes three bullseyes again. He says, I got three in a row again. What do I win this time? The bartender only vaguely remembers the whole thing and says, I, I don't know, what did I give you last time? And the drunk says, last time you gave me a roast beef on a hard roll. <laughs> Dude, don't laugh at that. There was this guy who got drunk so much, he lost his job at the butcher shop for putting his organ in the deli slicer. They said, what did you do that for? He said, hey, she came on to me. Hey, screw you, that was funny. That's got to do it for me for now. I'll be back. Thank you, Chaz Rockamundo on the drums, everybody. We've got Tracy Von Felcher coming right up. Uh, ganz kurz. Sometimes we give our hearts yeah. away too okay. easily. Come on, but okay, pass off. To any Johnny come I don't know who wrote the music and lyrics for this song, but whoever they are, they're not getting paid nearly enough. Das ist natürlich nicht. That's too far away. I like to hear. You pull the seat out so we'll be crowd funding. Okay, man, kommt nicht durch, She smell like tobacco and leather on a rainy night. Like something you want to hold close and never let go. I could tell she was gonna be trouble, so I avoided her like the play, because I don't know what I'm doing around my now. War das nicht gerade aus Sin City? Put it away, she's sharing her gift. I don't know who... You will never get her left. She's totally in love with her agent slash bodyguard slash chauffeur. Well, that kind of thing always has a happy ending. She's gorgeous. What will... I'm tracking your back I hear you say... Are you trying to see how high of a note she can hit? Okay. Ich hab, ja. ich, ich, muss, ich muss hier raus. Es ist A sehr laut. Das The Diver. Ja, ja, ja. Und ich will keine Witze mehr hören. Ganz ehrlich, was ich gerade echt. Putrid. Was ich gerade. Ich, ich weiß nicht, was ich dazu sagen soll. Äh, die ganzen Witze wurden. Ja, wie heißt denn das? Hier. Es, es, wie heißt das nochmal? Die ganzen Witze wurden politisch korrektisiert, wie mir scheint. So alle Witze. Die ganzen, die ganzen Gay-Witze. Die ganzen, die ganzen, was waren da noch für Witze? Äh, hier, äh, äh, ja, so, so Judenwitze. Ich finde es viel diskriminierender, dass man das rausgenommen hat, ehrlich gesagt. Das finde ich furchtbar. Und die waren teilweise echt lustig. Die waren ja nicht bösartig oder sonst was. Ich verstehe es nicht. Warum wurde das zensiert? That's a portrait of Jason Z. Caesar. Founder of Caesar's Phallus. They say he was a really big dick. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. It's intentionally placed up there so that Jason Z. Caesar is on a much higher level than everyone else. Also, so that you can't futz with it. Okay. Nice little place you got here. But take my advice and lose the toga. That's so... late 1800s. From here, it just smells like your philtrum. Caesar's Phallus is 22 acres. What have you got? <lacht> okay, wie kriegen wir den Dildo auf? Ich brauche die Fernbedienung. Wie kriegen wir den Dildo auf? Ich würde es gerne wissen. Taxi! Und wir haben Presa vergessen. Ich würde mal vielleicht... What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Okay, guy, where will it be? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Ähm, da waren wir gerade. Ich würde vielleicht nochmal... Ne, ich hole erstmal ein paar Presa, oder? Komm. Atompilze am Vorfall. Ich weiß nicht, warum das da steht. Ich weiß nicht. 17 Bucks, pal. So. Thanks, kid. Gut, das haben wir gemacht. Huch, das ist eine Katze. Hä, so wann laufen die Katze rum? Welcome to the come and go. We only carry up to $20,000 cash in the safe. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Never in my life do I hope to smell anything again as vile as your present exhalations. <lacht> Wie schön deutlich das auch noch gemacht wird. So. 
Da. Ja, viel besser. Okay. Ähm, erstens kommen wir mit dem. We are open 24 hours for all your unsavory needs. Okay. Kann ich mir den vielleicht öffnen? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <lacht> Alter, wie ich gerade noch gebraucht habe, um das zu kapieren, Alter. Das war <lacht> wie, wie unnötig war das? Wie unnötig ist das? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <lacht> Ach, Freunde, ey. Okay, ich muss es zugeben, es ist doch um einiges besser, als ich, als ich eigentlich erwartet hatte. Träumchen. Some days you can't get rid of a bottle of hot sauce. Und da greift er sie einen Schritt. Okay, hier vielleicht. Für das Hebel ist die scharfe Soße nicht zu gebrauchen, für den Vibrator nicht zu gebrauchen. De genau deswegen geht Schneewittchen nicht mehr ins Telefon, wenn du sie anrufst. Wa 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 was? Was? Okay. Thank you. Hat er Batterien? Nobody seems interested. Okay, wir brauchen die aus der... Fe ich weiß aber nicht, wie ich die Fernbedienung aufkriege, verdammt. Nein, 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 lass das. Ähm, wir wollten ja eh noch, wir wollten ja eh noch, was ist denn hier? They carry condoms here, but they must be kept behind the counter. Okay. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. Okay, guck keiner. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers for your stupid pleasure. What sort of lover are you preferring? Okay, Latex, Schaffall, Ketten, äh, Schaffell, Kettenpanzer oder Alufolie. Äh, Park your Peter in a Parker. Okay, Three Lovers Extra Medium. Ähm, made in Mexico and China. Schaffell, Kettenpanzer. Ich würde sagen Kettenpanzer. What length would you like? Mm, extra klein, Standard klein, extra klein, Jumbo klein, wie ein Würstchen. What girth are you requiring? Welche dicke? Spaghettini, Banane, afrikanische Banane oder kalifornischer Redwood? Ich würde sagen Spaghettini. What texture would you like? Okay, geriffelt, Noppen, Pockennarben, Falten. Oh. What faux finish would you like? Sperrholz, gebürstetes Aluminium, Schlangenhaut, halbglänzend Schlangenhaut. What excess capacity do you require? Reservoirgröße, Regentropfen, Teelöffel, Feuerwehrschlauch oder Geysir. Ja, Teelöffel. What sort of lubrication would you like? Gleitmittel, Spermizid, Fungizid, oh, Koffein, extra pikant. Ganz ehrlich, ich fick nur auf Koffein. What sort of scent would you like? Das kam unerwartet, ich weiß, Entschuldigung. Welchen Duft? Moschus, frische Pinie, alte Bibliothek, vier Jahre ohne Dusche. Also ganz ehrlich, was gibt's Schöneres als, als ein Pinienpenis? Hm? Ein frischen Pinienpenis. Der riecht einfach, du machst die Hose auf und es riecht einfach nach Fichtenwald. Certainly, yeah, sir. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This perv just bought it. Steel belted radial, jumbo small, spaghettini girth. Sharpe, snakeskin, loving spoonful capacity, caffeinated, fine fresh scented lubber. What a perfect! Ja, bezahlen müssen wir glaube ich auch. Okay, das kam diesmal nicht so. 15 Dollar für ein Presa? Freundchen! Thank you! Now please leave, there is no loitering. So, sie an, sie an. Gut, dass man eine Panik ist für den Kampf eines Kondoms. Okay, ich weiß gar nicht, warum das immer aufploppt und warum. Ich, ich verstehe es nicht. Okay, gut, Kondom. Es macht mehr Spaß, die Dinger zu benutzen, als sie sich anzusehen. Das ist richtig. Wenn du mal in eine Situation kommen solltest, in der du diese Lümmeltute gebrauchen könntest, klick einfach damit auf dich selbst. Ansonsten lass das Ding in seiner Verpackung. Ja, ich wünschte, ich käme jetzt mal in die Situation. Ich muss mal. Schauen wir mal. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie wir die Batterien aus dem Bildo kriegen. Ich weiß es nicht. Wir fahren mal zurück in die Bar. Das wollte ich überhaupt nicht. Ich wollte eigentlich daneben klicken. Taxi! Das ist überhaupt nicht animierter Taxi. Und ich finde trotzdem Larry hey, zu wenig Frames. How come you're always alone when you get in my cab? Just drive. Oh, ich hätte das mit dem Wein probieren können. Aber egal. Gut, wir fahren zu Lefties. Geradeaus abbiegen. Alles klar, die Schilder sind mega witzig. The damage is 18 dollars, buddy. Ah, klar. Thanks, Kip. So, wir müssen mal gucken, ob wir noch genug Kohle haben. Wenn wir hier die ganze Zeit rumfahren. D, 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 D. Da fällt mir was ein. Keep that thing away from me. Because you don't know where it's been? No. 
because I bet I do know where it's been. Eyes down. Oh yeah, a vibrator. I tried one of those once. I should probably pull it out one of these days. Ah, schön, die ganzen Kickstarter-Leute, das sollten Vibrator zustemmeln, ja. One of my girls has about 40 of those. I don't know why anyone would need more than five or six. Naja, vielleicht jeden Monatstag einen an, ich weiß auch nicht. I've seen those. <laughs> Women need to use them when they sleep with guys who aren't me. Yeah, you know. Ah, a vibrator. Yes, I believe American men use them to compensate for their shortcomings. Mm. Or whatever you call it. Shortcomings, ich verstehe. Man, that thing smells familiar. What, 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 what? You apply the vibrator to the loud mouth. His eyes get wide and his mouth drops open. Congratulations, you've rendered him momentarily speechless. Das ist möglich. Interessant. So, hier, Presa, wie wär's, Schnucki? That won't do anything to help you with this lady, Larry. Better move on to more fertile ground. My okay. fertility is none of your business. Oh, entschuldigung. Does this mean anything to you? Things don't interest me too much. I'm more of a spiritual guy. Plus, in this light, you kind of have an aura. Yes. Yes, I do. All this guy seems to want is your adoration. I don't see how that's going to get me into the kind of serious shit I want to get into. Nothing personal, but it sounds like you need therapy. And that's coming from someone who doesn't even recognize their own need for therapy. No, thanks. I don't want charity from anyone that I wouldn't want to be friends with. Is that a compliment or something else? Yeah, something else, would he say? Thanks, but no thanks. I've already got one, you see. Naturally, naturally. Okay, einen Kondom. Uh, scharfe Soße? 